By every measure, it was one of Detroit's worst years on record. Chrysler sales went off a cliff, plunging by nearly a third in 2008. Ford and GM were each down more than 20 percent. General Motors hasn't seen a sales number that bad Chevrolet is the one, the since one. Dinah Shore was singing its jingles. The fun is in the going. The consumer has, has basically frankly pulled out of the market. Even Toyota wasn't immune. Sales of its Prius hybrid fell 45% in December. So all dealers are getting desperate. Hyundai is offering to buy back cars from customers if they lose their jobs. GM's new 0% financing for certain models has brought some shoppers into showrooms. So you're getting traffic. We're getting traffic, which uh, leads to sales in most cases. But it hasn't really yet? Not yet. I think consumers are still trying to figure out what's exactly happening in the market. Enterprise, the country's largest rental car company, is cutting its purchases by almost half this year, or nearly 400,000 vehicles. Do you see things getting any better from here? Not in the short term. So John LaSorsa has laid off 15 employees, nearly a quarter of the staff in his Bronx, New York dealership. He's taking it day by day. Because you can't see ahead? We can't see ahead. Some analysts see a gradual recovery later this year. But the overall year 2009 will be actually, we're forecasting, worse than 2008. Only eight years ago, the industry sold a record 17.4 million vehicles. This year, J.D. Power predicts that'll fall to 11.4 million, a 16-year low. Even if Detroit can pull a U-turn, the comeback will have a long way to go. Anthony Mason, CBS News, New York.